My name is Dr. Paul Wishmeyer, and I am professor of anesthesiology and surgery at Duke University. I'm a hospital and ICU survivor who is now a physician because I became passionate about teaching young physicians how to do medicine better, which is how my passion came to focus on nutrition. It, it not only saved my life, particularly parental nutrition, when I was young, and has continued to as I get older, but, but my belief is it, is it will save many people's lives um, when we finally fully utilize it and, and can teach people how to do it. I'm very passionate about the fact that we don't realize what happens to our patients after they have been in an ICU or had surgery or had cancer, and that the quality of life challenges they face afterwards have been almost fully unrecognized until just the last few years. My journey started when I was 15. Over Christmas break of my freshman year of high school, I uh, got a strep throat infection and was placed on an antibiotic. And had my stomach get upset um, and suddenly was noticing that I was bleeding and was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis inflammatory bowel disease. In that time leading up to when the TPN was finally established, lost about 60 pounds, from about 160 pounds to about 98. Um, when they finally did try to feed me again, um, I got what we would now call septic shock and peritonitis. And so went to the operating room and had my colon removed. Was in the hospital for about another two months with different complications on and off of TPN um, and, and trying to recover. I went from playing JV basketball and starting on my high school team to not being able to walk down the basketball court without being short of breath. And in college now, had some bowel obstructions that led to more surgery. It was well for many years, up uh, till probably age of mid-30s, when another small bowel obstruction occurred that was untreatable without surgery. And so recovery from illness and preparation for illness is an everyday part of my life. The natural progression then for me then was to become interested in nutrition. I think one of the biggest challenges that physicians um, who practice nutrition, even, even some of my junior dietitians don't realize is, is that to recover from weight loss like you have after surgery or ICU or cancer, that it takes four to 5,000 calories and nobody can eat that much when they feel sick and when they're recovering. So unfortunately, the average time that many patients go without nutrition is a minimum of seven days. And that is tragic and a bit scary. We have lacked objective scores and measures that could be put into a chart or read on rounds to measure malnutrition until very recently. And, and I think widespread and or universal adoption of meaningful objective nutrition screening techniques is the first step that has to occur. I teach them that nutrition assessment has to occur in every patient. The dietitian is their best friend. We know that malnourished patients who are not getting intrally or orally fed need TPN. We know that patients before surgery who have more than 10% of their body mass weight loss, who don't get preoperative nutrition, whether it be intral nutrition or in many cases parental nutrition, they should be getting this preoperative nutrition support from parental nutrition or nutrition. For the families and loved ones of patients and for the patients themselves, they need to demand that nutrition be addressed daily. I think clearly the upside of parental nutrition is delivery of the protein, calories, vitamins, and micronutrients, trace elements that our patients require. And so that's why it's so vital to the future of, of how we do nutrition in any setting in the hospital.